what being told that you reinstate a government which has no no Maraj, it is it's yeah, acknowledgement by I, you i hear your lot of loud resign it's a question how can the court reinstate a chief minister correct who did not even face uh, the floor of test your lot is not now our problem is look at the look at the intellectual conundrum yes yes that it's not that you have been ousted from power as a result of a trust vote which was wrongly summoned by the governor you chose not to you chose you three step procedure i want to ask myself malus in which case will the 10 schedule bite let's malus be very blunt what your lordship will do your lordship's domain but today your lordship's other option other than my option which i am submitting most humbly and respectfully is adopt the three step procedure or validate it or recognize it malus then how will 10 schedule apply it cannot and then malus your lordship should be actually adopting an interpretation which reduces the 10 schedule to vanishing point actually vanishes then vanishing point it vanishes every case of defection i will sell not resign i won't go to the ec i won't merge merger is given to you by the para 4 of the of the of the 10 schedule i will not do it but as your lordship was told i am the party i am the overwhelming majority i am the main person i am it i am it therefore to hell with the tension you so much well on principles of interpretation and much more so of constitutional interpretation than even statutory this is a much better way to look at it than malus the contrary view because your lordship malus gives meaning to both sides and your lordship does not adopt something what is this other adoption which is propounded to your lordships on the high moral principle of democracy dissent free speech each of my four options gives you that option so what the ten schedule does is it says i am giving you a free speech option i am giving you a democracy option but within my own terms i am not giving you a jungle raj free speech and democracy option otherwise why would i enact a ten schedule see but merger dr singh was not an option open to them because they were not claiming to merge their party with yeah, either right. the bjp or any other party with respect but i'm sorry right. to interrupt us why not so, merger was not an option no it was an option no. they did not of choose course, to exercise it right you're right nah, that's correct it's an option they chose not they to exercise an option in, an, in the abstract but they were not following the merger route at all because it's not their case that look this part of the sena that's exactly my point with another party that is not that's here. exactly my point with greatest humility Then the only point is that in a situation like this where they say that we have lost faith with the leader of the party yes then the only con then the only option according to them according to you is that you resign and recontest no mas no. i will stick stick to my four options that's huh i'll say all the four options are... no, 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 no. no 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 what 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 do they do then no no well is resign is one right these nine people with merge with another political party why not but the fact that i don't excise an option that, that is not an option because merger means that their political identity as the shiv sena is lost then that, that well then in that case if the 10 schedule says that i recognize only this path of exit of, from this room you can't say i'll make a new tunnel to get out but you know doctor you can't this make part a new of your argument is a problematic argument a that look problematic. i'll tell you why because your argument postulates that if you have a dissension then the only way you can express the dissension is to leave the party and merge somewhere else one they say sorry we don't want to leave i mean right. ideologically i am a shiv sena man i don't want to leave he says he says i don't want to leave the party so as per kindly see balu so kindly see the even if sir. even if somebody applies to the election commission at yes. the initial stage instead yes. of in the legislative assembly Correct. and says that we now want the political party to Accept that we are the political party recognize us so even that according to your argument is impermissible then no no because so because that's outside the so long as five instances that no, you have no, given no 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 one of my five is ec he is not resigned i beg no no one is resignation one is split which is gone now one is merger the fourth is ec he is saying that fourth is ec now whereas if i apply to ec without violating a whip and get a decision if i apply to ec without voluntarily resigning it's perfectly permissible i can't be saying i'll topple first and then i'll apply to ec so remain a member be a part of it and, and well, vindicate your principle absolutely well, 
I just see the reverse of it, but just, just consider how it will apply. You first topple the government, then you go to the EC. And why did you like the tenth schedule? That we understand. No, and, and Malaz, also, apropos by Lord Chief Justice Query, Malaz, are you harmonizing or not? But there's one more thing. The fact that you don't choose consciously not to excise an option but does not mean you can wish away the option. The option is a constitutional option. It's a constitutional option. It's as equal to split as it was earlier. You don't exercise it. It really amounts to saying this. I want to avoid the 10 schedule. So I will put blinkers and close my eyes to four options available. Four constitutional options. The fifth one is deleted. And I will choose a new option, which is only the three-step procedure. First, disable the speaker. Second, approach the governor. Third, be sworn in. See, the negative prohibition in the 10 schedule is twofold. One, voluntarily giving up a membership. And two, defying a whip, 2-1-A, 2-1-B. The 10 schedule certainly does not have any provision by virtue of which there is a prescription if you do not give voluntarily, if you do not give up the membership of the party. And yet, exercise a right of working your remedies within the party. It, 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 then you cannot be held to be a defector. Right. And that is the whole purpose. You were elected. That's exactly the case. No, no but Balaz, then in that case, why did you enact the 10th schedule? Balaz, 10th schedule is not Balaz saying that Balaz, Article 19.1a, just see 194, Balaz, very interesting, a scheme of whole, this entire system. Well, if your lordship were to make a standard as broad as if you have a dissent, you can violate the 10th schedule. Then a lot of people, uh, unmanageable. Then, but unmanageable. your argument, Dr. Singhvi, would be yes. the extreme argument on this side, which possibly you can adopt also, is that any dissension amounts to the voluntary, voluntary giving up of the membership of a party. No, I'm going to give one more. I, I'm not an extreme. The other argument is extreme. I'm going to give a harmonized answer. Immediately to that, the principle can never be, Malas, dissent. I'm not happy. Therefore, I can go. Three answers, Malas. One. Well, everybody has dissent, Malas. Which political party? There are enough inbuilt outlets within the party to express dissent. One. That is what your lordship will always say. Two. The dissent within the party at the appropriate fora can be followed by any of these four. Three. Three. You, Malas, if you are having dissensions and you are not satisfied with the party system, then, Malas, you will simply express it that I am resigning or doing well as going away with nine tenths of the people. But well as how will you say that mere disagreement entitles me to topple? Here they have not expressed dissent. Well, it's not a case of dissent. I have not gone out and spoken against the party. Dissent plus, this is dissent plus plus plus. Dissent plus toppling. You lot should remember that I started well as, I think there was a Navam Rebia hearing. You lot should notice this well as, uh, 191 2 and 194, you may not remember that, but just kindly turn to that for a minute. 191 bracket 2. Couple of things. Step 1 was, uh, as we saw, I mean, the, three, the, three, uh, the three steps that you told us. Just yes, one but... second, I'll just go, down, go back to it. Correct. Brother. Notice of removal to the speaker. Yes. Resolutions given to the governor and yes. the act of being sworn in as uh, CM. Correct. There's one step earlier, probably one one step which you can also add there, which was the governor's trust That's vote communication. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Right. Now, four step. There, suppose, uh, suppose uh, you know, notice of removal of the speaker, we are, we are not really called upon to adjudicate upon the validity of the. What okay. okay, It's a three o'clock, so they can. Oh, no, no, it's time, it's time, it's time. Sure. No, yeah, no. Except, except in Navam Rebia, your lordship, if your lordship chooses to refer, would have that issue. Navam Rebia, if we choose. in the broad, no, no, I'm saying it arises. I'm not saying your lordship may have to for this case. I'm saying that's the core issue. In... No, no, I'm saying well, it's, it's an issue. Which governor, the day. governor asked for a trust vote. Yes. Two ways of looking at it. Well, the governor had material to call for a trust vote, in which case a further issue would arise as to whether he was justified in calling upon Shinde to form the government. Pinpointing, picking out a person and saying... Picking out a person, because Correct. even assuming that the governor had material to call for a trust vote, what is the basis for picking out Shinde? Second, 
that the governor had no material to ask for a trust vote. Absolutely. That there was no valid material at all that's on the basis of those three circumstances. That's a core question. And well, it's, uh, that goes to the heart of the matter. Well, if I may digress for 30 seconds, Mr. Dushar Mehta was right when he quoted the couplet. But perhaps didn't realize that the second sentence applies against him. He quoted Bashir Bhadra to say, Chup rahe to galat fehmiyo aur galat fehmiya aur bhi badhi. Usne wo bhi suna jo mein ne kaha nahi. Usne wo bhi suna jo mein ne kaha nahi. Malas the governor in his letter at 326 PDF <laughs> talks of a resolution to exit the government which doesn't exist at page 55 of the resolution itself there. So he's yeah, hearing things. Jo the the resolution doesn't say that we are exiting the government. Yes. So he heard something. We had said, wanted to. <laughs> well, I found a more appropriate one for Mr. Mehta. I found a more appropriate phase for Mr. Mehta. Not Bashir. Bhatt. So really, the question was whether there was a valid exercise of power by the governor to call for a trust vote. And if we, but what happens if we come to the conclusion that there was no valid exercise of power by the governor to call a trust? Everything falls. Everything falls is very. Uh, no, no. Very I'll, be, I'll be dealing with Bhama. That's actually that's the core question. Your lordships is saved a lot of unnecessary exercise if your lordship comes to that conclusion plus follows Bomai, which in any case is. So then you, according to you, we what? We reinstate uh, the. the Just read, of... straight away. Let me just change my tack and go to Bomai. But you resign, no? No, no. That's I covered in my note directly. Five reasons. Justice Shah asked me that one in the beginning. Your lordship asked me that. I straight away answer. That is actually a red herring. My resignation and not facing the Malad's uh, trust vote is irrelevant. Completely. But that's Mr. No, Malad, I'll, I'll deal with it. So let me deal with because it. So let me deal with that. If you, it's like the court being told that you reinstate a government which has. No, no, Malad, it is. It's yeah, acknowledgement by I, you. I hear your lordship loudly. You resign. Clear. It's a question asked earlier, and it is actually a plausible looking thing, but it's actually irrelevant. I'll show that in a minute. No, no, Mr. Kapsil. How can just hypothetically? Yes. Yes, yes. How can the court reinstate a chief minister correct, who did not even face uh, the floor of test? Your lordship is not reinstating anybody. Your then what will, what will be the consequences? Your lordship is and should and does, and Bomai says it more graphically, restore status quo ante. We That's would. the meaning of a... But uh, Ms. Dr. Singhvi, it would have been a logical thing to do. That's where we are, you know, it would be a logical thing to do, provided you had lost the trust vote on the floor of the okay, assembly. Uh, Lordship, I just flag that. I mean, yeah, I because answer. then, clearly, you have been ousted from uh, power I, because of a trust vote which is set aside. Duty bound to set aside, Lordship, and I believe... Well, that right. Is, now, our problem is, look at the look at the intellectual conundrum. Yes, yes. That it's not that you have been ousted from power as a result of a trust vote which was wrongly summoned by the governor. You chose not to, you chose, you, for whatever reason, you didn't want to face the well, trust I, vote. I face that squarely. Allow me, I'll change my sequence. 